Yeah, well, I'm, I'm thrilled for our players. I think, uh, you know, we <laughs> when, you, when you finish the conference tournament early, uh, you have time to sit around and think for the last week. I know, I don't know, well, I don't know what's going through their minds, but I know what's going through mine. But the, the good news was we were comfortably in the tournament, so it was a less stressful week. But I think, uh, I think they rewarded us for the schedule that we played, for his, for the strength of the Big East. I'm, 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 I'm excited that we got five teams in. I think that shows the strength of our league. But I also think that the sixth seed is a is representative of the kind of season that we had and the schedule that we that we tackled and then and just you know how we played. And and I'm super excited for the opportunity. I think uh, other than South Bend's not warm this time of year, uh, I think it's a it's a great opportunity. I know these guys are going to. Do their best to prepare, and 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 I I I love our team and and what we're about right now, and I think it's, um, yeah, I just I I think that uh, this team can can be as special as what we did last year, but it starts tomorrow. Tonight for the coaches, but tomorrow for these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I guess, you know, both of them are obviously super exciting. Um, last year, we pretty much knew we were going to be in. I mean, not as comfortably as this year. You know, we were 10 seed last year, 6 seed this year, and so it's a little bit different. Um, I feel like there's more of an expectation, you know, this year. Um, but it, it's definitely still exciting. How do you handle the differences between going in with nothing to lose versus Yeah, I mean, I think that's just something that makes basketball a really fun sport to play is every year is going to be different. Every game is going to be different. You're not going to be playing a perfect 40 minutes. You're not going to be playing a perfect year. So I think that's just what makes it more exciting that we're improving from last year and what we did last year was super cool. But tomorrow is the start of a new season, even though what we accomplished this year. But yeah, I think that's just what makes basketball really fun. what you guys did go through last year? Um, I feel like we definitely have more experience, you know. Um, we were there last year. We obviously made a deep run. And so I think that helps kind of having that under our belt. Um, you know, kind of like the previous question. It's a little bit different, you know, being the higher seed, you know, starting out. Um, but I think we'll take that well, you know. I mean, I feel like for most of the year we've kind of had that. Um, to like play to that expectation, and we've handled it well. So um, I think it'll be good. Emma, um, kind of like this, how the season's gone, where you, people are like, oh, you know, we know Creighton because they made this deep run last year. Same thing's going to happen in the tournament. Yeah. Um, what do you think about that dynamic going into it, where, you know, even on the show today, like, who's going to be the next Creighton? Like, you know, everybody's looking at you guys like that now. Yeah, I think it's definitely really exciting to be known for that because last year I don't think a lot of teams had us on their radar for anything, uh, sort of the volume of what we did last year and the impact that we had in the tournament. So people definitely know, and I don't, and I think that reflects um, with the other um, lower seeds that are going into the tournament because it's a new season and every can everyone is capable of doing something special. So I don't know. I just think it's really cool that we set that expectation and like they said. Um, when they were announcing the team, saying that who's going to be the next Creighton. So, yeah, I think that's really cool. Apologies for missing your opening statement, if you touched on this or not, but, you know, a sixth seed is basically like a sneeze away from hosting. You know, one game here or there in the season changes that. How do you feel about, you know, I know you have a lot more to accomplish in your minds, but. Oh, sorry, I'll hold off. Any other questions for the student athletes? More, Neva, how weird is it that you guys don't know quite exactly yet, you know, who you're going to play? Um, yeah, it's definitely different. You know, usually you'll go in more prepared, um, or not more prepared, but obviously just knowing who you're going to play. But, I mean, Flynn and the staff is really good at kind of preparing for those situations. And so um, it's obviously different, but, you know, I think it'll be really good. 
Um, not a lot, but I don't know. Our coaching staff has a really good job um, preparing us for games like these, and that's what the tournament's all about, playing new people. And, yeah, I think we're going to be ready. Is your mindset in a different spot compared to last year when you had lost two in a row going into the tournament? Or does confidence just come from, you know, what you've done in practice and, it's, and what you do with the next game? Or, you know, considering you guys are on kind of a roll to end the season and we're really close to making the Big East tournament the championship, like, does it feel different than last year at this point? Um, you know, I honestly don't think it feels much different. I mean, last year we dropped those two games at the end of the season, um, and so that's obviously different. But in terms of how it feels, um, I feel like it feels the same, you know, still going with confidence. Last call for student athlete question. That's good. Uh, yeah, just you know, I was just kind of wondering. Um, obviously, the tournament is the next barometer. You can kind of weigh that against what you did last year. But aside from that, because it's kind of up in the air, you know, how much are you with your team's ability to handle the expectations that came in with this year and improve them to the degree where you're basically four seed lines better than you were at this point last year, like comparing both, you know, three month marathons. Yeah, I think it. Like uh, I, I mentioned in my opening, that I think it's I think the six seed is representative of of who we are and what we tackled and how we persevered through you know a, a similar rough patch like the men did, um, and and came out playing good basketball and certainly we can play better. But uh, I feel like our our league has prepared us really well. Our non conference schedule will prepare us, and we talked about that and. You know, I look at it, we played 30 games and really three games that we weren't in, you know, home Nova, home UConn, and at Stanford where we kind of were in it a little bit. But, like, I just think we're in it. We're, we'll be in a good position. I mean, but, but you know, you also need your players to understand that all, you know, all three of those games that we won last year in the tournament were really, really close games. I mean, you know, the final scores in a couple of them weren't necessarily representative of how close the games were for – and, and uh, but uh, I think the thing that I'm I'm excited about is our team is still balanced. I think that was one of the things from last year's team. And so it doesn't come down to one player. Like we're not, you know, you saw two of our best players right here. But I mean, we can absorb somebody not having a great game because I think of because I think our balance is there. And when you go to the NC tournament, that's that's important because you know you're going to have somebody who isn't going to necessarily maybe perform at least from a production standpoint at the level that you're used to but I just I, I think that can help you um, even more so in a tournament situation the fact you don't know who you're playing I mean does that does it feel like it's double the work for your coaching staff <laughs> and then half the time to, to get prepared for that potential opponent yeah I think I think as a coach it's you know it's good and bad right because it's good those teams have to play and grind out a win two nights or two days or 48 hours essentially before they have to turn around and play us, and they're going to be focused on that game. Um, but to your point, it's like we're <laughs> we're going to spend the next few days doing more generic stuff about well, okay, we'll do we'll we'll do some Mississippi State things and we'll do some Illinois things, but we can't really get too far in the weeds with either of them because probably not the the best method of of uh of preparing but we'll we'll do some of each um so good and bad though because i think we'll be able to watch him play live which is which is great um and that'll be a good feel i mean that'll give us a good feel but uh so yeah you, in in some ways the prepared the coach who wants to prepare is <laughs> is uh maybe you know, not quite as comfortable with not knowing who you're going to play. But I think the the other side of that is those two teams have to go to battle, and and uh, we'll get to see that game too. What is the benefit of watching an opponent live compared to watching a bunch of games on tape? You can pick up some things in 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 real time during a game that you know just even something as simple as play calls. Like you can you know like I mean I don't know how many times I hit pause and I can't tell if 
a kid's raising two fingers, three, four, because my eyes aren't that good. And the screen's not that big. So I think there are some things, you know, but how kids react under pressure and, oh, maybe that, that kid's a little more physical than she looked on film or that kid's a little quicker than she looked on film or she likes to go right even more than I thought or left. So there's, there's some things you can, you can gain from, uh, from watching somebody live, I think, uh, and, and even having your players. Like, I, I really thought it was super benef beneficial last year that our players were in the building um, when Iowa played Illinois State to hear, the, to hear the noise. And from my standpoint, it's like, okay, how do I communicate with the team differently than in most cases that I, that I coach them where it's not 15,000 screaming people. And I think there was a, a value to being in the, in the arena when Iowa played their first round game last year. Lane, what did it mean to you to just kind of see from the bracket reveal and talk about who's going to be <laughs> the next Creighton? Yeah, I think it's, I, I think it's, it's, I think it's cool, but I, it's way more cool for the players to see that because it, I think it lets them know that, that what they did was special and that the opportunity that they have in front of them is, is special and unique and, um, because there is going to be somebody, and why not us? We, you know, who better to have? I mean, Matt. Okay, we're not a ten anymore, but, but still, you know, we're only going to be favored in one game, on on paper going going in. So, um, I think it's I think it's neat. I think it's it shows that that uh, that there is we're moving toward more parity in our sport, which is good. I went in, uh, side of the big east off overshadow a little bit. Uh, what does it mean to you to have as many bids this year as they got? Yeah, I think it's great. I mean, and, and uh, you know, for St. John's to get in and um, for Marquette to get, you know, to climb up to a nine, I think it, it shows where the league was. And we had a we had a veteran league this year. I feel like it's it was it's, it was the best it's been. I mean, of course it helps that we added UConn, but it's the best it's been in the 10 years that that I've been in the league, and, and I don't think it's probably we've even had a year that was comparable um, in terms of how many good teams there are and were. Uh, so yeah, I think it's validation, and now we got to go out and and win games and prove that we're that good too, because I think that helps. I mean, I don't think it hurt that I don't think it hurt that we went to the Elite Eight and Villanova won a won a game last year in which they were an underdog. I mean, and that UConn made the championship game. Those things help and. So I think if we can replicate that, uh, you know, it, it helps the league going forward. How does it feel just the fact that both you guys and Creighton men are in, and ironically both six seeds yeah. too? I know it seemed like there were more programs this year, though, that got both your men's and women's teams in, but this is two years in a row that that's happened. So just kind of what does that mean for you? Yeah, I think it's I think it's special. I think it means that uh, that we we support basketball on a level that allows us to to achieve and uh that the community is behind us the university is behind us but that also that we're attractive as a basketball school and when we recruit that's one of the things that we that we throw out is that we're we 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 have that reputation and i know as as the big east finishes up their 10th year um that there's a lot of pride in where the league is as a basketball league and um and i think that's you know certainly villanova winning two national championships on the men's side has a lot to do with that and the success of the men's program but i think we're i think we're moving in the right direction on the women's side too i'll uh i know it doesn't matter because you just play one game and if you don't have it you're, you know, yeah but how balanced is this, this group compared to other ones you've taken to this Yeah. Yeah, I think we're I think we're super prepared and that doesn't that doesn't mean we won't be nervous on you know <laughs> when we step on the floor, but and it doesn't mean that you know, there won't be some things that we're still not as good at as I want us to be, but I think that th that it, it does give us a chance to overcome s some obstacles that maybe a team that didn't have as many 
obstacles can't overcome in a in a in a tournament setting. So I'm, I thought our I thought our conference tournament was 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 great for us. And I told him after the game, I said we played two great prep games for the NCAA tournament because they were nail biters, one you know down to the wire, really hard fought games. And I, and we didn't play great, I don't think, but we I, I thought we played pretty well. And uh, but I think I think we'll have to play better, but not you know, two deviations better, just maybe uh, half a deviation better. <laughs> um, and if we do that, we'll be in great shape. And because I think, I, I don't, we played two really good teams and, and two high, high intensity, ha you have to execute down the stretch games. And I don't think they're, I think that's great. You know, our, so I'm, what I'm saying is our recent, our, our recent uh, schedule is gonna help us too, not just what we've had for the last four months. But you know, to go on the road, our last three road games were, you know, Seton Hall, UConn, and Marquette, and to get two of them and, and almost win at UConn. I mean, that's, you know, we won we won 12 road games. Um, I think there's a lot of things that w that we can look at and point to as as reasons for optimism. But um, but it's a one and done, so nothing's guaranteed. What's your uh, conversation? Um, I think that's tough. I think you just, I think you're positive with them in practice and recognize their contributions in practice so that they're, so when the ball gets thrown up, that they're, that, that they're confident and not overthinking and not, you know, I mean, th that their, their, their height meter is at a nine instead of a 10 and a half or an eight and a half, nine versus a 10, because I think, you know, Rachel runs there anyway. <laughs> Carly kind of runs there. So just, I, I think just uh, making sure that they they understand how prepared they are and, and building them up in practice this week. Any further questions for Coach Lamer? Thank you guys. Well, Appreciate thank you, it. Coach. Had a lot of state tournament duty, didn't you?